This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch. Sean Carruthers here from Butterscotch.com at CES 2011. I'm here with Bree Pettis of MakerBot. And Bree, we talked to you last year about uh, one of your uh, little uh, device building robots here. Yep. And you have a new version of this. Yeah, I mean, it's good to see you again. Last year we had our first machine, the cupcake here. And we right were in here. a little, yeah, we got it, uh, uh, it, got it here set up with a pen plotter. And we were in a little teeny tiny booth at the mm -hmm. back of, of the place. And now we're in a bigger, bigger you're, area. You're taking, this is as big as the Sony booth Lots now. of bots. Yeah, we're having a good time. We're, like, we're, people are like, where do you find us? I'm like, well, we're between BlackBerry and Verizon. So it's all good. And, okay, um, definitely moving up in the world here. And we've got this great new machine. And it's got all sorts of improvements over our old machine. It's got a much better extruder that we've developed, which will let you do both ABS, which is the same thing Lego's made out of, right. and PLA, which is clear and is made from corn. Okay. And then we've also got the automated build platform this year. This is a fantastic revolution for 3D printers, mm -hmm. where when you're done with something, it just rolls it out the front and then it starts again. So, so you don't have to wait till it's done and then wait for it to cool and then grab it and take it off yourself. Exactly. So like for example, we came this morning mm -hmm. and we've got a we've got it set up so it'll just print thing after thing after thing. We started it up and it's just been going, 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 going. And we just have to make sure to make sure there's you know, keep it stocked well with plastic and and that's about it. All right, so there's a few uh mechanical upgrades and electronic upgrades since last year. So why don't you tell us uh, what, what's uh, been fixed up and improved since last time? Sure. So got, I mentioned the ABP, and the, which is the automated build platform, and the, the uh, Mark V extruder. Mm -hmm. And then the Z stage, which controls the height of the extruder, is much improved. We've got really fine, we've got finely ground rods here and uh, uh, integrated screw into the stepper motor. Mm -hmm. So this is just really locked in there so there's no wobble in, in it so it just it makes for much better uh, much more accurate prints and it's just a more luxurious machine right the electronics are upgraded as well when we started with the cupcake there wasn't an Arduino that was big enough and now there's the Arduino Mega so it actually run it we run it off the Arduino Mega mm -hmm. and then um, the stepper drivers we have used to be just stepper drivers. Now we have micro stepping drivers, okay. which means instead of 80 micron kind of accuracy, we're down to 10 microns, which is like it's like really small. Yeah, so you can build something with a lot of detail now that you couldn't before. Yeah. All right, so is that's it, the main upgrades that we've it, got here. Oh, like and more LEDs. More LEDs. Well, LEDs when in are doubt, always add more LEDs. Got a lot of flash here. So we've got this one uh, running white, and we've got a few over here running green and red. So you can definitely trick those out as well for, for you and taste, it looks like. Yeah, there's a whole genre of things that people make that they call, that's called like pimp your box. So right. there's all sorts of things that you can do to upgrade your machine. Yeah, well, one thing I noticed as well about uh, this uh, new version of it is it looks like the, the platform itself is actually bigger. So you can build bigger to, uh, bigger gadgets than you could last time around. Yeah, uh, the heating platform used, used to be 10 by 10 centimeters, or about 4 by 4 inches. Right. And we bumped that up to 12 by 12 centimeters, which makes it almost 5 inches by about 5 inches tall. So, so build much bigger things. Yeah. All right, so I guess the, the big question now is, uh, you know, where can we get this and how much is this new uh, fantastic upgraded version going to cost us? Yeah, uh, this fantastic machine is available at MakerBot.com and uh, just go on there and order it and we'll ship it to you. It's twelve twenty-five. Right. The LEDs are an upgrade, you have to buy those extra and uh, you get to choose your color. And then there's a filament spindle box as well, which is where all the, the plastic is. If you're going to do autonomous printing all day, mm -hmm. you need to have the filament spindle box and that's 95 bucks. So okay, you so can get all set up for under 1500 bucks with an your own th little factory on your desktop. It's a modular system, uh, it looks like. And, and I mean, 1500 bucks to someone that doesn't know it would seem like it's a bit expensive, but compared to the large rapid prototyping yeah. machines, it's still a, a hell of a deal. Oh yeah, this is kind of like, you know, back in the day with computers, there were mainframe machines, and then people started getting Altairs and yeah. a the Apple One. This is like the Apple One of 3D printing, of personal manufacturing. So you see a day when this is going to be in everybody's living room? Well, you know, for the, for the 3,000 people who have MakerBots right mm -hmm. now, they're already living in the future. Right. Like, they can make things in less time than it takes to go to the store. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you get to that kind of place where like, 
you know, you need a bottle opener or you want to make a gift or you want to make a puzzle for a friend or, uh, you know, a miniature camera for your Barbie doll or whatever, then, uh, you know, this is like a cent or, or maybe two cents of plastic and ten minutes of your time. So, you, you know, go. getting toys for your kids just got a whole lot cheaper with yeah, some of these things. Exactly, and the material is super cheap, so. Right now, the users that have made uh, their own designs for this can share them as well at Thingiverse, I believe. Yeah. If you're a digital designer, you just want to find cool stuff, you can go to Thingiverse.com where people upload their designs and share them. And you can download them, change them, re-upload them. So if you make a doorknob, and I need a doorknob, I can download your doorknob, I can modify it, I can re-upload it, and then it automatically gives attribution back to you. Are there actually doorknobs in Thingiverse? There's like, there's eight things tagged knob on Thingiverse. Well, I don't think I want to know about what some of those <laughs> things are. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. Be sure to check out Thingiverse for that. Check out makerbot.com uh, for uh, information about this uh, new uh, gadget. And uh, you can check out show notes with all the links to all of this stuff uh, on butterscotch.com. Thanks so much, Ray. Hey, great having you here, Sean. Good to see you. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch.